So you've successfully managed to acquire one of your brother's old, ugly, boring shirts. It doesn't quite fit you right, you're not really feeling it, so what do you do? DIY it! You'll need the shirt, a picture to put onto it, a craft knife, board, a pencil, some adhesive plastic or paper, fabric paint, some sponges, some fabric glue, scissors, a ruler, and an extra pair of hands. Now comes the tedious, time-wasting, soul-wrenching part of cutting out your picture. Go with something easy, guys. This was truly, truly not pleasant. But you know what? You do what you do when you DIY. Also, if there's extra little pieces, try and be really careful because I ended up cutting into extra bits that weren't meant to be quite cut. Once you've successfully managed to cut everything out, you're going to want to trace your stencil onto the um, plastic adhesive or uh, paper that you're going to be putting onto your shirt and or piece of clothing. Once everything has been traced on, you're going to want to cut out a border around the shape just so there's no extra flappy bits because I'm kind of running out of the adhesive plastic and the little flappy bits were getting in my way. After that comes another soul crushing round of cutting it out with the craft knife. Not pleasant the second time round either. Also, if you're going to be doing something that needs to be facing a certain direction, when you trace it onto the um, paper or plastic, if you're doing it on the reverse like I did, then you're going to need to put the word in reverse so that when you reverse the reverse, it'll be facing the right way. Because can you see here, it's now facing a different direction as it was on my original image. That's because it's the reverse of the first way around. So just be careful that you don't end up having to stand in front of a mirror all day so people can read your graphic tee. Once all of that hard work's been done, you get to paint it, which I find quite fun. I enjoy blending. In this case, I decided to do a rainbow because, you know, unicorns apparently poop rainbows. So why not just have a rainbow unicorn and, you know, cut out the middle mat? So I went with um, some UV colors, which I thought looked pretty funky. And then I also chose to do the horn in a rainbow as well. You can choose to do that in like one color and have the unicorn as a rainbow or just have the unicorn as one color and then do the horn as a rainbow. I just wanted rainbows everywhere. After you finish painting, give it some time to dry and once that's done, you can peel it off. Yeah, it's peel porn time. Again, Christine, shouting out to you. And then you get to see the awesomeness that is your unicorn, or whatever you chose to do, but I don't know why you wouldn't choose to do a unicorn. Take out the board that you put in the middle to separate it so that there was no bleeding. And then I decided I wanted the shirt to not be like that. So I chose to cut it up a bit. At the back, I'm taking it up a bit so that it'll be a crop top. I measured about 15 centimeters at the back and then cut that off. And then, as you saw before, I was also um, measuring on the collar because I want it to be a little bit off the shoulders.
For the front part of the shirt, you're going to want to measure into the middle of it and then draw some lines from the outer edges to that point and then again outer edge to the point and then you're going to cut out those triangular shaped pieces. Once those have both been removed, you'll be able to cut up through the middle and form what will be two little flaps that you can then tie together into a nice little bow and make the shirt a little bit tighter so it's not quite so baggy on you. But you can also leave it flat as well. Then you're going to cut into the neckline so that you can perform that off the shoulder maneuver that I mentioned earlier. So you'll cut around the front as well as the back so that it hangs on both sides. You don't need to do it quite as far out as I've chosen to do it, but with this I have allowed for some space so I can do some little shoulder straps as well, which I'm also going to rainbowify. As you can see, I chose the spots where I was going to put it. Those were where my bra straps uh, peeked out. That's where the extra pair of hands comes in because I couldn't find the one on my back without, you know, moving the shirt around. So then you'll take the back part of what we cut off of the shirt earlier and cut some straps. Uh, I did it about the same size as the width of a ruler. Not the teeny width, but, you know, the, the big width. You can see. And once that was done, I measured it on myself and figured out how long it needed to be so that it fell over my shoulder at the right point. And then I cut it a little bit off of that, just so it would be a little bit longer so I could patch it into there. So now I've painted them and I'm going to glue them into place, mostly because I do not have the ability to sew. Okay, I can't see the... No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, okay. okay, I guess the tree stuff was a bad luck decision. Eh, getting off. <laughs> 